Hey everybody, Alex Machakas here, coming to you guys live from Mystic Ground Studios here in Dallas, Texas. And I'm looking to share some of my tips as a session guitar player with you guys today. It helps all my students and maybe some people uh, online who are looking for help with tone on how they can sound better on stage at home or in the studio. So today we're going to be checking out RP90 guitar pickups for you. What a great set of P90 pickups can do for you and your guitar tone. So while old school pre-CBS Fender single coil pickups and exclusive vintage Gibson PAFs seem to get all the tone hype in the guitar community, the Humble P90 might be the greatest innovation in Gibson history. In this blog, I'm going to go over why you should consider getting a guitar loaded with P90 pickups, what they can do for tone, your tone, and other guitarists' tone over the years, and how you can use a P90 in your music every day. Let's talk about a little bit of the history on the Gibson P90 pickup. Uh, the, and to go back to this history, you really need to go to the, the inception of the Gibson Guitar Corporation, which started in 1902 as a premier acoustic guitar builder in the United States. And even though their instruments were considered to be some of the finest acoustic guitars made at the time, as music evolved, there, need to be, there needed to become a need to project what a single guitarist was playing to a crowd of eager listeners in a band context or even in solo context. So in blues and jazz clubs of the time, guitarists traditionally just dutifully comped rhythms for members in the band and played chord changes to support what was considered to be the solo instruments of the day. This would be like saxophones or trumpets or even pianos back in the day when you're playing blues or jazz. So the electric guitar hadn't even really been invented yet, so guitar wasn't really considered to be even allowed to play lead lines in any band instrument or in any band context, really. This presented a real need for someone to go electric and the enter the advent of the electric guitar pickup. The Gibson P90 pickup was designed in the 1930s, so this is about 30 years roughly after the, about 28 years after the beginning of the Gibson Guitar Company. This is a way to electrify the vibrations of an acoustic guitar strings and send that electrified signal to an amplifier. Electric guitar pickups are, they're really a simple invention. They're nothing more than a few magnets round with ele wound with electrical wire and then being able to give a charge so they can pick up that signal. In a few years, they managed to completely revolutionize the role of a guitar player in modern music. So the P90 pickup allowed guitarists to step outside of a rhythm role as desired and become much more of a lead player. And they were able as such to swing and solo along with the best saxophone and trumpet players of the time. The cool part about this pickup design is eventually it did lead to Gibson's fabled PAF. But that's another story for another time. Originally, Gibson thought of their new P90 pickup as just a humble accessory they could sell to guitar players. Meaning, once you had an acoustic guitar, maybe when you decided you wanted to go amplified, you could just go buy the pickup, install it, clip it onto the front of your guitar, and you were good to go. They still hadn't quite grasped the concept of you can put pickups inside a piece of wood yet and play it. So the first player that began to popularize the P90 pickup and was able to make it to where Gibson saw a need for it to be entire line of guitars made to have this pickup installed was Charlie Christian. Charlie Christian became famous as one of the most legendary big band jazz guitar players of the time. Charlie played in the Benny Goodman Orchestra and he became very famous. He's a guitar player of his time. Uh, he arguably invented the style of bebop along with Benny Goodman and his orchestra. Charlie Christian became an outspoken user of the P90 pickup. He said it allowed him to get very, very clean guitar tones from warm and subtle to also edgy and distorted. The original version that came out in the late 30s and 40s was called the Large Blade model that he installed in his Gibson ES-150s. This enabled Charlie Christian to solo with ease. They, the P90 also allowed Charlie to cover a wide range of tonal options from adjusting his volume uh, knob on the guitar. So he could go from a very large, thick and bright kind of tone to something more spanky and warm depending on where his volume was set at the time in conjunction with the amplifier. So the P90 pickup was a staple from Gibson from the early 1930s until 1957 when they did ultimately upgrade and come out with their patent applied for PAF humbucking pickup. 
The only drawback from the original single coil P90s was they had some kind of hum or buzz when in use. So the humbucker was designed to get rid of this buzz. Over the years, as the humbucker was around, guitar players started going back to the P90 and the curious guitar players would go to these bargain bins to play these instruments and found that the tone was still there even if the style of pickup and guitar might not have been in vogue anymore at the time. What exactly is P90 tone? Well, if someone asks you what does a P90 pickup actually do, you should answer that it really depends on what guitar and amp you're running the pickup through. P90s are extremely versatile in their use. They're able to cross as many musical boundaries as possible. Early Alnico 3 magnet versions were brighter, softer, and sweeter. Alnico 3 P90s also have much less volume output when compared to their modern counterparts. They're much more at home in a Scotty Moore jazz box guitar or early rock and roll as opposed to the full out snarly grind that I prefer in my P90s. So the P90s I prefer are the stronger Alnico magnets. These are Alnico 5s. They have a much larger wrap of wire around the magnet of the pickup, so the strength of that pickup increases. So they have a much more aggressive overall tone. The cleans are stronger, and when they distort, the guitar seems to kind of bark with an aggressive tone that can really sing through an amplifier. I associate the tone of an Alnico 5 P90 pickup with smoking hot blues bands like Freddie King when he had his 1950s gold top Les Paul, as well as guitar players from The Clash and the New York Dolls. If you want anybody modern who's using uh, P90 pickups, I check out Gary Clark Jr., his um, sideman, Eric Zapata, as well as the great Doyle Bramhall too. These are all great Texas guitar players who use P90s to great effect on all kinds of songs, including slide guitar. So to my ear, P90s are arguably the most versatile pickup ever created for the electric guitar. The P90s handle a wide tonal frequency range and complement wild styles of music. They have a wonderful clarity between notes and lead lines, and they handle picking dynamics as really well, meaning if you have the amp turned up and you lightly pick, you'll get one sound. Then if you dig in harder, you'll get a much more aggressive sound. I personally like guitars and pickups that respond in that way. It, it, it really lets me get subtle with how I'm attacking the guitar and still get a wide range of tonal options. What I really like is they maintain their clarity when used with hollow body guitars, like jazz guitars, like ES-335s or L5s when you turn the guitar volume down. Some P90 instruments only have a single P90 in the bridge. You know, other ones have one in the neck and bridge together. I kind of think that they work great with distortion from an amplifier or a trusty distortion pickup or a distortion pedal. And the P90s will give you a brutal, wide-ranging snarl that's great for grunge, punk music, or distortion-filled rock and roll. Personally, for me, I love using this guitar. This is my Gibson Les Paul Special. I've had this guitar now for about 12 years. Uh, this is one of the first guitars I ever walked in, saw on a wall, and bought with my own money. So I'm a big fan of the guitar. Uh, this one has two P90 pickups, one in the neck and one in the bridge. I originally wanted a Les Paul Jr. that would just have one in the bridge, but those turned out to be really difficult to find. So I figured out when I found this one, because it had two pickups, it would give me two more options than maybe what I would have with just a single pickup with a volume and a tone knob. I like using these for slide guitar. They have a very aggressive attack when using notes. They tend to handle the cleanup really well with playing with fingers or a pick. I also, for that reason, like using these with fuzz pedals. I think if you use a P90 with a fuzz pedal, it gets the most aggressive sound you'll ever hear, and you can go straight into a Fender amp and not have to worry about a Marshall. It'll sound really, really, really good. So a little story about this guitar. I bought this guitar when I was 19. I bought it used off the wall at Guitar Center with one of my first paychecks I ever got from playing guitar. I walked in, I had needed another guitar, my guitar playing. I was really into Fender Strats at the time and playing a lot of Stratocasters, and I felt like I needed something new to keep me inspired. And so I walked in looking for a Les Paul Jr. and I walked out about 15 minutes later with this. And it was wonderfully beat up. It's just a single piece of mahogany with a set neck, no binding, uh, two pickups. It's, it's not very heavy, bare bones, no binding on the guitar. I usually leave it on the bottom pickup and just go. This thing absolutely screams. I've taken on a countless recording studio sessions. I've played it live plenty of times. This guitar really seems to be able to handle anything you can handle and anything you want to throw at it, really. 
So I recommend if, if you're looking to get away from Fender sounds and you want something a little different, check out a P90 loaded Gibson Les Paul Special or Junior. Uh, I think you'll really come away quite impressed. As for guitars, what guitar should you be checking out that have P90s? Well, for me, I'm a fan of this Les Paul Special. I think they're absolutely killer. Also a fan of Gibson Les Paul Juniors, but there's some other really great models that have P90s you might have not have thought of. That would be the Epiphone Casino or the great Gibson ES330. Those are totally hollow guitars with P90 pickups. Gary Clark Jr. is an avid fan. I really like those as well. I like the old SG specials with P90s, like what Santana and Pete Townsend would use. And I I've even thrown these soap bar pickups, uh, P90 pickups into guitars like Strats before. So I think they sound really, really good. So what I like to do is turn on my pedal board and give you guys a couple examples. I'm running through a Fender Deluxe Reverb in the studio. And I wanna show you what the how with just adjusting my volume control, the difference in tone I'm gonna get out of the guitar. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 